passport wallets. You either like them, could care less, or scratch your head wondering why you'd even use one. Whichever position you take, it doesn't matter because I'm going to review the Alette Wayfinder passport wallet, kind of whether you like it or not. No f fighting! Came to me like this. Again, the Wayfinder passport holder. This is the brown color here. and. All the Alettes come with these cute little inserts uh, for advertising here. Let's pull this out. They're all fairly unique and of course being a passport wallet, here's the demonstration. That's how far this pulls out a passport. We'll get our own passport in there. Let me just push that in and pull it out. Let's take a look at the sewing really quick. Reinforcement in areas that we like for sure and expect. My stamp down there, the Alette logo here. Okay, let's get into it. All right, for those who like to be super organized when they travel, this passport wallet begins to tick all the right boxes. Lots going on with this particular wallet. We have a quick access card slot right here, capacity one to two cards, and the most frequently used cards. We have another one right here, large pull strap, which we'll talk about a bit, capacity three to five cards, generous to be able to get cards out there, more or less used cards go into this particular slot. We also have an exterior pin slot right here. I love pins with passport wallets. Seriously, with the paper forms you have to fill out, every passport holder needs to come with a pen. Now this works perfectly with Narwhal Co. pens. Uh, Alette does sell their own, but I've worked with uh, Narwhal Co. to come up with these two, either silver or black, little passport pens or micro pens we call them. They're really quite clever. So if you're interested, look at those in the notes below. Flipping it over, we have an exterior document slot right here. This document slot is for, oh, I don't know, boarding passes, uh, those annoying documents you have to take with you through customs. And really it's generous. It is very large for other things. You could even put cash folded once in here and not have a problem. And then finally we have this interior passport slot. This will fit all passports. Apparently there are some variations between certain, a couple international passports in here. And uh, we'll, we'll talk about the interior here as we get into this closer. But uh, for right now, and I'll grab this passport here to push this all back in. That's a quick review of the features of this particular passport wallet. It measures 5.4 by 4.2 by 0.5, and it weighs 65 grams, or 2.3 ounces. Hmm. So, hmm. Are there concerns about this wallet? Well, yes, so hang on. Five cards, uh, I think six slips of cash in there. And uh, you know the company recommends up to seven cards. So that works just fine. This is designed and made in the United States. All Alette wallets are made in the US. If we pull things out of here, we can get a better feel for the uh, leather that we have here. It is a soft grain, well, it's a soft full grain veg tanned leather. And it's cut very thin. Obviously, we have so much going on, so many layers in this wallet, that if we uh, didn't use a a lighter weight leather, then this would be just way too bulky, beyond even what you may think is too bulky as it is. One thing to look at is the liner, the liner to reinforce this. And if you look down in here, you can see we have a lot of liner all the way through this. This provides RFID protection and is not a big issue. If you look at this pull strap right down here, uh, one of the, the concerns is that it does not have reinforcement here at the bottom, right there. Uh, around the pull strap. It actually just attaches, this leather strap attaches to the material right down here and at that point it could tear up and we don't want that to happen. Another thing is this pull strap for the larger cards right in here. Uh, if we, we look down in here again it does connect to the bottom which then connects to the material without any reinforcement. And you can kind of see the smaller strap, the, the larger one ends halfway down and then it rolls over and gets into the material itself right there. I don't know why they didn't take the full one all the way down. Just kind of looks a little hokey, honestly. I don't know, choice and design that was made on purpose. Another thing I noticed is really the quality of the sewing. Got issues here where you can see that on the back as well. 
can see right here and right here, it's a, a bit sloppy and not something that I'm really happy about. You can see down here, uh, down here. So another concern. The wallet is priced for $72. Now my biggest issue with Passport wallets and it's my issue is that you really can't put these in your pocket. I mean, this, this is this is big. I know people can say, oh, that's fine. I can put it in my pocket. That's great. Uh, but it's uh, it, it's just not natural for me to have something this large in my pocket. You now, do you really include your credit cards with your passport? That's another question. I don't. I like to keep things separated when I travel. So if something is lost or stolen, I don't lose everything. Now, that said, I do find this to be very functional passport wallet. It addresses all the needs if you intend to make this your primary travel carry. And again, I can't talk more about having a pen. I don't care if you have any other pockets outside of just having a passport pocket, you need to have a pen that comes with it. Many have argued that passport wallets aren't really necessary and are just another avenue to sell products or something that really is not useful. Do you agree? Well, let me know in the comments below. Now on to the final score. Quality of two, despite the materials, the build is a little lacking to me. Price of three, uh, standard for a lot of passport wallets. Features of five, again, has everything you'd really need here. I think it's complete. Uh, usability of four and perception of four. That gives us a final score of 3.3 out of five. We do have a number of passport wallets we've reviewed, so watch this video next, and we'll see you in the next review. Bye.